What's up, everybody? Or like a little more from the chest, like you kind of like wet lips, like it's like a fight sound, like what's up, everybody? Just right. like yeah. What's up, everybody? <laughs> so I noticed that I told you that I was starting a business, but I didn't tell you what business I was starting. So <laughs> gonna do that in today's video. So I'm starting an app development agency. What that means is I'm gonna be helping aspiring founders, entrepreneurs, and small businesses bring their app ideas to life. And the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna be designing a lot of these apps and I'm gonna be conceptualizing and creating a blueprint for, for what their concept or what their app idea is. Then I'm gonna be working with different people to develop the app, to, to do some testing, to ensure that their idea is realized and is brought into market. I'm gonna be guiding clients and people throughout that process. It's Friday, March 13th. Stock market crashing, recession. And I just decided that I wanted to start my own business. But what a better time if I can make it during a recession. Watch the journey as Andres becomes a nine to fiver to an unemployed, self-established entrepreneur. That's right. Making six figures a month. <laughs> <laughs> Take two! It's a little slow out there. All right, today marks literally the second week of Andres' journey. This has been something he's wanted to do for a while. Uh, yeah. Now we're a week and a half since Andres started. A few things have been knocked out. Website's done. Service offering is somewhat put together. Contracts are there. Um, now we're moving into some of the day-to-day -day operations and strategies to onboard customers because the biggest hurdle in this space is onboarding customers. And then the second biggest is actually executing on the service once that customer right. is onboarded. And so today we're gonna fine tune the steps within the operation. Um, so stay in touch, we'll document all of this for you guys. And let's get this going. <laughs> Nice. Good to see You're a natural, bro. Up, <laughs> You're a natural, man. Wow. Look at this fridge. The Red Bull? Right there. What is this? Espresso. Okay. And then nitro. Nitro. Nice. Right, so choose, choose your weapon. I'll not finish though. Choose your weapon. <laughs> All halfway. Choose your weapon. And that's how we get down. You know yeah. how it goes. You know. <laughs> Come in here. This is breakfast. Right Welcome to the Breakfast Club. All right, so right now I'm trying to develop some marketing material that will ideally get interested leads and clients onto my site. And I'll be following Gary Vee's kind of jab, 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 right hook kind of entire methodology, right? And the whole premise of this is that you deliver value to your target demographic, you know, multiple times consistently, and then you ask. And so the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to do a high level summary of this really interesting book called How to Build a Billion Dollar App by George Berkowski. So essentially when people read this article, they'll know what the book is about. And at the end of the article, I have a little button that says, uh, develop your app today, or how much will your app cost? A little action button at the very end. I think what's also interesting about this piece of content is that when people think about building an app, they think about the cost, they sometimes need to remember that, you know, if you create something great, if you really solve a problem, you'll be able to make a lot of money. I'm gonna try to read the book. <laughs> do a high level summary and then post on Facebook groups and, and to social media in hopes that I get, gain some traction. So we'll see how that goes. 